A small fleet of ships are back at the site and preparing to resume work to finally kill the well. National Incident Commander Thad Allen says a relief well could begin pumping mud into the well as soon as one week from today. Our David Mattingly is down in New Orleans, and David joins us now. David, you just had the chance to fly over the site. Tell us what you saw. That's right, Don. We flew over the site in a Coast Guard uh, cargo plane, and when we got out there, we saw a lot of the pieces coming back together, most noticeably the drill rig that's going to be handling the drilling of that relief well. But something that is noticeably absent from that area now, after having that well capped for nine-plus days, we are not seeing any thick oil out there uh, at the well site. In fact, we didn't see any thick oil anywhere in our flyover of the Gulf. There were some areas where we saw some emulsified oil, some of those orange bands that we've seen throughout this disaster, and some sheen. But so far, there seems to be exactly what the Coast Guard is telling us. They are having trouble finding those patches of thick oil for the skimmers to uh, come in close and take those uh, uh, patches up. And I talked to uh, the admiral in charge of those cleanup efforts while I was up in the airplane, and he was saying it's true. They're just having trouble finding that thick oil. This oil is rapidly breaking down, uh, and there's very little oil left. Uh, we have a few streamers uh, that we located earlier off of Grand Isle uh, that perhaps can be skimmed, uh, but right now we're not seeing many targets for, for our skimming fleet of 780 skimmers. You realize when you say that, it's so hard for people to believe that this spill was so enormous and yet you're having trouble finding the oil to skim it? Well, it's not for lack of trying. Uh, we have 50 aircraft uh, saturating this, this very uh, location where satellites indicate there could be oil sheen in the area. Uh, and so we're going to look just like we would doing search and rescue to see where any possible target pocket of oil might be over this area. One of the most remarkable things I heard today, Don, was the fact that there's so little oil out there now on the surface that they think we might see this surface oil gone in a matter of weeks. And that is from the cleanup efforts and from the natural uh, spreading around of the oil that's been going on out there.